Welcome to this video. Why is my Angular app losing its state if I reload the page or if I switch to different pages inside my app? Now, this is a question we get sometimes from you and in this video, we'll have a look at the reason why this is actually happening. For that, I prepared a little example app. The app is pretty simple, I must say, because we simply have these two navigation bars. So this one right here and this one right there. As you can see, for this navigation bar, we will use a hyper reference, so a default HTML functionality. And for the second navigation bar, we will use router links. So we will use the Angular router in the end. We have three different pages in our app, so home, products and about, the same for both of these. And we have the page content down here. The page content, of course, should change depending on what we select right here. So now we have home, if we select products, they should be products and so on. Down there, we have an input field where we can enter some data and the data is also displayed right here below our input field. Now, at the moment, none of these links is working because I didn't implement any of these linking or routing functions so far. So let's go to the code and start with the hyper reference here. Before we do that, a quick look at the code also. As you can see, we will work in the app component HTML file. Here we can see the code, nothing special. Important, I already added the router outlet down here. And as you can imagine, in our app module, I also implemented our imports for the routes and the router module up here. I added the constant we need for our different paths. And down here, I also got the router module import. And up here, you can see our components we have. So the about component, for example, looks like this, nothing fancy. Same thing is true for home and products. And we also got the input component for our input field. But let's focus on to our losing state issue that we have. Because we could now say that we simply use a hyper reference right here. This means we just add the hyper reference here and say this should direct us to slash because basically this will lead us back to our current, our starting, our home page. Then we could add right here a hyper reference directing us to slash products, so our products page. And then we could have a hyper reference which could direct us to slash about like that. Maybe I should also add the slash right here. So with that, if I go back to the app and as we can see, it reloads already the entire app. If I now click onto products, you can see that the page content now says we are on the products page. So this component basically was loaded and we can also go to about right here like that. And here we are at the, on the about page. And if we go back to home, we are back on the home page. You can also see this up here in the URL. We have the local loss 4,200 page right here. If I go to products, we have slash products. So this is working basically, but there are some problems with this approach. The first problem becomes evident if you look at this angular symbol up here. Because if I now select about, for example, can you see it? The page is reloading because whenever we use a hyper reference, then navigating to a different page means that our entire app is reloaded. So the app basically loses its entire state. This becomes even more evident if I go down right here into our input field and add something like hello. And if I now go back to the home page, for example, well, what can you see? We can see that the page again reloaded and it lost its state because the input we added to our input field right here is gone. The page basically looks the same way it would look if we would visit the website for the first time. And that's of course what you normally don't want in your Angular app because the Angular app should be a single page application with this mobile like feeling. So if I switch to products right here, I don't want to have this reload symbol down the, up there. I don't want the page to reload. And of course, I also don't want my state to be lost all the time. Now for this reason, we do not use the hyper reference in our Angular apps, but we use the router link here. Because with router link, we can prevent this default behavior of the page being reloaded. And we can simply navigate smoothly between the different pages that we have without, that's important, without losing the state of our app. Now let's implement the router link now and let's then see what the difference look like. For that, we just go back and now go down here to our second div, this one right here, which contains the using a router link paragraph. So let's add router link right here. 
And the links are exactly the same, so nothing to change about here. So we can add this link right here. Then let me quickly copy that maybe right here and right there. So this one should go to slash products, oops, and this one should go to slash about, like that. Saving this and going back to the app will now allow us to use both, so still the hyperreference is working. It's a bit slow right here, by the way, in my case, because it's really hot here in Munich and my MacBook also feels kind of a bit too hot, so sorry for that. But as you can see, the hyperreference is still working. If I click on the products, we can still navigate with that, again with our beautiful loading spinner up here. But if I now click onto about right here in our using router link section like that, then you can see that the page content instantly changes, products, home. Can you see it? We don't have any kind of loading spinner. We can quickly navigate between the different pages on our website without any reloading and without losing the state. I can prove this to you if I enter hello once again right here. And if I now click onto products, can you see it? The page content changes, but our state down here doesn't get lost. And that's a really cool feature of this router link or of the Angular router in the end. And now you might ask yourself, how is this actually working? Well, we can have a closer look at that if we first prevent the default behavior of our hyperreference up here. For that, we can simply go back to the code and here we can now add our click listener, which we name, let's say, on click. Don't forget to add the dollar sign right here like this. And now we can copy this two times for our products and for our about page. And in the app component, we can also quickly add it right here. So it's on click like that. And now we can prevent the default behavior like that. So if we now go back to our page, we can see that if I click on two products or about right here, nothing is happening because we prevent that default behavior. And actually that's exactly what our router link or the Angular router is doing right here. Because if we quickly inspect one of the links right here, it's kind of slow again because as I said, the MacBook is close to its limit apparently when it's a little bit hotter outside or inside this room. But nevertheless, let's inspect products right here and maybe select the elements tab up there. So as you can see, we are now here in our products link. And in this link, we also have a hyper reference. So basically the behavior or the general link idea would be the same as for the hyper reference, but Angular prevents this default behavior and applies its own logic to it. Now, what is the own logic? Well, as we defined right here for our router link down here that it should navigate to slash products, then in our app module right here, we can see that Angular or the Angular router will then simply say, okay, I want to navigate to products, therefore I should load the products component right here. Same thing would be true for about or for the actual homepage. And in our HTML file with the router outlet down here, we simply tell our website or we tell Angular where this new component should be loaded. And this is it actually. So the next time you work on your Angular app and your state gets lost if you reload the page or if you navigate to different pages inside your app, then think about the Angular router and how you can use router link to make sure such a loss is not happening to you. So thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you in the next videos. Bye.